I'm going to whistle through this. I really apologize in advance if by the end of it, your brains are leaking out of your ears, um, but there's an awful lot of information to get through. I really, really hope you get some value from it. The last year or so have been um, quite a challenge, I'd say. Um, according to Adobe Research, effectively what's happened in the last 12 months is we have actually jumped two to three years ahead uh, of the growth curve, the sort of online growth curve that we would have ordinarily been on, um, thanks to our friend of COVID. Um, and also what's happened is 30% of all retail is now being carried out online. And um, before pre-COVID, that was 16%. So there's been a huge kind of migration online um, from, from a business um, perspective. You know, we've got, you know, all of our customers and audiences now who would have previously been in real life are now uh, migrating online um, as the new normal sort of takes effect. As I say, you know, customers are migrating online. So the big question for business owners like us is, how do you access those people? How do you get in front of these new pairs of eyes that are now uh, looking, searching for things and searching for answers increasingly online? And the bigger answer um, you'll be surprised to know is through the magic of digital marketing and in particular what I'm here to talk about, which is video marketing. Um, why video? Well, video is a hugely, hugely effective and it's been proven to be a really effective method of reaching super targeted audiences and building critically, building relationships with them. The whole point of um, when you're interacting uh, on social media and, and things as a business, you know, you're, you're trying to create no like and trust online once you're building sort of genuine relationships based on you providing your expertise and value to your audience people will grow to know you like you and then trust you once you're there at that point people then feel okay to get their credit card out and then start transacting with you if you don't have no no luck and trust frankly if you're um creating content that isn't providing value to your audience or you've not even thought about who you're targeting and so you know, it's a very scattergun approach. You're kind of wasting your time. I hate to say it, I hate to be the bearer of bad news, but you've just got to be really conscious of always producing value for your targeted audience. And in that way, you can then transform eventually over time, transform browsers into buyers, which is what we're all about. Now, anyway, why should you even listen to me? Why, you know, what on earth am I on about? Well, listen, I've, I've had, um, over 20 years in UK broadcast TV. I'm a survivor, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I've, you know, been part of, don't judge me for this, but um, I've been part of all your favorite high quality entertainment shows like X Factor, Strictly Come Dancing, especially this last year. Um, I did some lovely stuff with them. It was a fantastic show to do. Uh, BGT, um, a, a very high end documentary known as TOWIE. Um, loads of concert films for lots of artists in amazing places. Um, but importantly, more sort of relevant, hopefully, for you guys is that I've actually owned a business, uh, a couple of businesses, obviously, for the last 15 years, which Emma was alluding to, um, a photography company and a production company. And the last few years, um, I have been steeped and have been traveling down the digital marketing rabbit hole, um, starting at a point where I was wanting to really sort of leverage my skill set and help businesses because I'm passionate about business. I'm also passionate about video. And I was thinking there must be a way with this newfangled YouTube and online and you know Facebook, Twitter and all of the rest of it, there must be a way of being able to leverage my skills and make it and make them work for businesses and help transform businesses. So consequently I'm on a mission, ladies and gents, to help businesses of all sizes use video, but use it in a really, really effective way that helps you grow. And goodness knows we kind of need that right now, I think. Um, so before we start talking about video, what we need to talk about, I think, um, take a little step back and look at the buyer's journey. Um, I really don't want to teach people how to suck eggs, but um, you know, video is tremendously exciting and everyone gets very excited. And I'm also gonna contradict myself later, probably by saying, hey guys, just grab your phone and shoot video. But what I mean is do that after you've done your planning and your strategizing and everything else, because just filming stuff for the sake of it and then popping it up on YouTube every kind of couple of months isn't gonna really cut it, unfortunately. Uh, the buyer's journey, what is it? Well, it's the journey that people go through online, um, the process that they go through to get ultimately to a stage where they go, 
I really like your product. I'm convinced it's going to do what you say it's going to do. I think it's going to make my life better. Here's my credit card. Let's crack on. So the first stage is called the awareness stage. And this is if you're doing stuff on social media, um, so fit, Twitter and Facebook and the like, you're you're going to probably mainly be doing stuff in this zone. It's people obviously come to us as as businesses online. If you've got a, an online profile, they've got no idea who we are. Now, with things like uh, YouTube and Google, the brilliant thing about those thing those platforms is that they are uh, search engines. So people come to you with a problem they are how to do you know typing in how to do whatever it is you know with a bit of keyword research and a bit of now so you can you can gather that data pretty easily and therefore you can create content around those questions google loves it when you answer specific questions so that's a definite thing that you should be writing down answering specific questions if you're answering specific questions with your content you're on to a winner this helps in the awareness stage. So people people are, you know, have got an issue there and, and it's about kind of giving a voice to it and understanding and defining that issue. We So so the videos that are about um, that sit squarely within the awareness stage. You then move people to the consideration stage. They, so the, at this point, your prospective customers know that there's an issue because you've kind of talked about it you've, you've sort of set out the let the landscape if you like and then we're just adding a little bit more kind of a little bit more sort of flesh on the bones as well you know it, it could be this kind of specific problem we could you know you could might look to solve that issue by using these um solutions and that could obviously be products or it could be services so you're introducing the solution element to the, the the whole thing. This whole process, you know, this isn't an overnight process. It takes time. And this is why you need to be constantly creating content at all of these, you know, that sit in these three different stages. Once people kind of are happy um, and they're like, OK, I get, I, I, I've got this issue, but actually there's a couple of things that you've said that I'm quite interested in. They then are moving swiftly towards the decision stage. At that point, you can say, well, actually, we have got an, a solution for you um, and you're, you're being much more specific about the products themselves or the services themselves that can help them. Um, that was a really, really quick whistle stop tour through the buyer's journey. I hope that's not left your head spinning too much. If I have, I apologize. But anyway, the whole point of this is to do is to create videos to create to generate income. Um, so straight off the bat, if you have an existing funnel, you can create VSLs, video sales letters. So they are videos that you can put uh in the decision stage of your funnel uh using them on things like landing pages one page website sales pages or through your throughout your checkout procedure or in your order bump process if you put videos in these sections of your um customer sort of funnel they will have an effect in a positive way um in fact if you put a video on a, a video landing oh sorry if you put a video on a landing page the conversion rate is um will jump up to 80 percent uh in terms of its its effectiveness also testimonial videos if you use testimonial videos within a funnel so at the top so kind of as people are entering into the decision stage um testimonial videos are super powerful they 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 build uh, a sense of rapport between your ex customers or, or your current customers let's call them that um to your with your sort of um potential customers because they can you know your potential customers can see people and identify with them and they are a uh, they're an independent voice it's not just you saying i'm great at doing what i do these are independent people saying and telling their story about how they interacted with your product or service and as a result they're you know much better off as a result of it so it's a brilliant way of establishing social proof which we'll come on to in a second the slightly more kind of um creative way perhaps of dealing with testimonials are client before and after stories which will be rather than someone just sort of sat in front of a camera going i thought jeff was great at being a plumber um you know it's a bit more cinematics uh you know we can come on to that later on all of this content bolsters and improves your income generation potential if you have got a funnel that exists at the moment you may have no idea what i just said so in in which case let's crack on um how can videos generate income well, you can use them as ads, 
So Facebook ads, you can choose ads, uh, Google search ads. You can drive, you can create affiliate income via YouTube and blogs. Now that is a huge, huge, well, the video, the ads as you know, videos as ads is a huge thing. Uh, affiliate income also, that's another entire series. Uh, haven't got time to go into that today, sorry, everyone. But, but you know, these are all ways in which video can generate income for you. Um, what we're talking about today is content marketing. So i.e. the notion that you create video, you then reversion that video. This is a huge part of making video or, or reducing the um, the time and the effort it takes to uh, create video. We're all busy people, we run businesses. Um, so the, the, the point is you create one video, you then strip out the audio, you create a podcast, you get that audio transcribed, you can then create a written blog from that. You create a long version, you film the long version in the first place, which you may use on YouTube or LinkedIn, and then you can cut down shorter versions for things like Facebook, Insta, and Twitter, and the like. The whole point is you want to be shooting one or two things and then just making loads and loads of resource out of them. You then repeat that for, for, for across your different topics and your audiences. And as, as I said before, it's critical that you're creating a video content that is valuable and that people are interested in. And that speaks to the whole bit of researching before you press record. Um, you also must, re you've got to be creating and uploading on a consistent basis. And that is about finding a schedule that works for you. So, you know, don't commit to yourself that you're going to create sort of two or three videos a week and then do it for two weeks and then forget it. You need to, you need to be honest with yourself. Even if you do one video a week, that's better than nothing. Um, and then obviously out of that one video, like we say, you reversion and you get all this other great content as well. How do you do that? Well, uh, what do you need to start? So kit wise for a basic vlogging setup, you need an investment of around about a thousand pounds. That would be for a camera, for a ring light, a tripod, a mic and some edit software. But before you fall off your chairs, if you have fallen off your chairs, get back off your chairs, sit back up. You can start with your phone. That's right. A selfie stick, a tripod, a clip mic. Now, this is critical if you're doing stuff on your phone or even, well, whatever you're shooting it on. Sound is so critical. You can get away with slightly ropey visuals, which as a cameraman kills me every time I have to admit that, but you cannot get away with rubbish sound. So please, 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 please invest in a decent microphone. They cost, you know, you can get cheap ones off Amazon for about 20 quid. If you're seriously going to be creating video, do invest in a proper microphone. The Rode Lav Mic Plus is brilliant. Uh, you also then will need to edit it in some way or other. Phone editing software doesn't cost a load of money. The posh one is Adobe Rush, which is great. Um, there's one for the iPhone, LumaFusion, which gets lots of rave reviews online. That's 30 quid. There's a an Android version, which costs 30 pounds a year. So Kini Master. So, you know, you don't have to spend a lot of money and you can start creating um, creating video content. And the thing to think about as well is that Okay, that's an investment, but guess what? If your videos over time create one more client, what does that actually mean to your business? You know, you also need to bear in mind the client lifetime value. That's what I always say when people get scared about the cost of video. It shouldn't be a cost. Marketing shouldn't be a cost. It's an investment. If you're, if it is a cost to your business, if you're spending more on marketing than you are getting back in terms of leads, something somewhere is going very wrong and I'd urge you to have a look at what that might be so you know when it comes to you know if you're if you're if you're thinking or in a position to start commissioning uh, production companies to create bespoke content for you that's amazing but 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 try and avoid the temptation to think oh it's it's you know it's expensive it's costing me five grand yeah but then you know we had an example with one of our clients you know, they spent, they invested sort of six and a half thousand with us. We created a suite of films that then enabled them to gain, to win a 300,000 pound contract. I was really pleased about that um, because it, it really demonstrated the power of getting some great film done. You know, okay, six and a half K is a lot of money. I understand that. But they've then managed to scale their business with that one, with, the, with that one, um, client they got in which is absolutely fantastic and that is why I do what I do right so anyway onwards that was a bit of a tangent sorry about that uh, what do you need you also need so you obviously need the kit like we talked about you also need the now don't you? you need the knowledge uh, so you need to understand now listen 
don't give yourself a load of you know grief about this you need to upskill yourself you need to educate yourself in the elements of shooting now this does not mean ladies and gentlemen that you sit there and you buy 75,000 courses online that you never watch and then you think oh I can't be bothered to do video no it does not mean that what it means is that you educate yourselves enough to be able to get away with it I say you know you know um but you create you've got to get to a stage where you're you're not as uncomfortable about it as you were before and then you put yourself out there you've got to do it it's you know for goodness sake I am not the reason my 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 webcam is not working mysteriously is that I'm not as much of an oil painting as Emma is and you know it's really not natural for me to be in front of camera but you go to the YouTube channel bit.ly link below there I'm all over it because ultimately that's what people want to see that is who people engage with and you build their like no like and trust because you put yourself front and center i know that is a massive sort of hurdle for some people to get over i understand that it was for me but you have to at some point draw a line and say how much do i want this how much do i want my business to succeed and you have to ultimately get yourself out of your own way um do you know what I mean and and also don't beat yourself up you're never going to be amazing you are never going to be Dermot O'Leary or Claudia yeah you're not going to be them when you start out they weren't you know I've known Dermot for a long time he wasn't brilliant when he started he is now obviously but he's been doing it for ages so when you've done it for ages you'll be good at it as well so don't beat yourself up anyway that's you know so give yourself knowledge invest in yourself also you're going to need time this is the critical thing more than cost more than investment in 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 money you're going to need time you're going to need time to create the video strategy you need to invest it up front once you've got your video strategy it's not something you need to keep doing you know you maybe do it once a year or whatever and just see how it how it's gone how it's played out you obviously need to do your topic research but again don't get into this thing of using it as a as an excuse for procrastination it's brilliant isn't it we can all sit there going oh i'll just do a little bit more keyword research or i'll just go and do it you know because there are so many different platforms you can go and, and and do some research on and it's very easy for things to be stuck in analysis paralysis you you've got to do enough so that you're happy and then you've got to just start uh it's it's a balance i understand that but uh you know it's really critical that people start the other thing to do to bear in mind seriously there's a balance obviously you're talking about filming on your phone and all that i would encourage you to do that but just bear in mind that you need to think about this is you communicating your look and feel your brand values so you need to be creating content that chime with that um if you're high end you need to think about that um again don't let this be a barrier for you not starting because you know for example if you if you work for art if your clients are high end you could you could um you could frame it in such a way that perhaps you did a vlog type thing and there are you know there are always there's always room for different styles of video content within um a sort of the overarching video strategy let's call it that so you know but just bear in mind that you need to be producing stuff that is going to chime with your brand look and feel and your brand uh, values um right so awareness stage videos this is the bit we're educating people you're focusing on you know letting your audience know about the existence of these issues that they may have and they may be looking to uh, resolve this is not the point to sell don't sell don't sell don't sell at this point because it makes you look sleazy and horrible and no one likes that um you're building no like and trust and also this is not going to be overnight anyone who says uh you know you can create three or four videos and suddenly you know become a millionaire they're absolutely mad and never listen to those people there are so many people so many people online on YouTube going on about you know do this and I won and you know made a million quid it's all rubbish um <clears throat> don't believe it just do your thing do you know you're an expert at what you do celebrate that and share it with people right share your expertise this is what video is brilliant at because your vibe attracts your tribe um you know to I mean so what that means is you know just be who you are and demonstrate the wealth of knowledge that you've got between your ears and people will come to enjoy that they'll if you're if you're producing valuable content that they're looking for they will really appreciate that and as a result they'll want to do business with you um think about what problems your customers come to come to you to solve and create video content around that 
now you know you'll know that right because people will be going oh i've got this problem have you got something to help me but also what you can do is literally just go on google and um search put yourself in the headspace of a person searching for your particular product or service you will get predictive like you you know when you type start typing something in on google you obviously get that predictive thing happening where they fill in uh, the rest of the question those are actual searches that people have typed in so look at those also further down the page on a google search you'll get people also asked you know you also get the, the 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 box in the middle of the page halfway down which is questions people are asking all of those three things right there that is how you start creating content that people are looking for also look on look on youtube look at your niche who's there what are they doing what stuff are they producing that's resonating that has got you know thousands of views um is there something in that in terms of uh, you know, topic areas that you can be inspired by. Don't copy, by the way, because uh, YouTube's very intelligent and knows if you've lifted stuff, and that is bad. It's very quick, you know, to mean if you if you infringe copyright, three three strikes and you're off the platform, which is not good. Uh, one way for um, awareness videos, good awareness videos, how-to videos. It's not about how to use a product. It's about how to get a desired result. You know, it's problem solution. So. Plumber might be how to fix a dripping trap, tap, tap, trap, or tap, either, you choose. Uh, accountant, how to complete a tax return. And I've just spotted a typo there, so ignore that. Uh, dog trainer, how to stop my dog barking in the car, right? Things like that. These will be, you know, those are just out of my, my head, but you will go onto Google, you'll research, and you'll have a look and see what people are actually asking and create content around that. Consideration stage videos, it, this is the point which we're explaining. So the audience is researching solutions into their issues and pain points, and they are creating content that speaks not just to what you do, and this is a massively critical thing. It's not about what you do, it's the value you provide, okay? Because, you know, if you're selling widgets, um, there are lots of people that probably sell similar widgets to you. So it's not that. It's 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 the added value that you give that's the thing that's going to get people to buy from you rather than someone else. Um, you need to demonstrate how you can meet your audience's needs and solve their issues. So one way of doing this is with explainer videos, and they're short; they're two to three minutes long. This isn't a big product kind of detailed product thing about you know the breaking down your service or your product. That is for later on. It highlights a problem and then uh, th that your potential market has. Um, and it's showing them how and why your product or service could be the solution that they're looking for, could be, okay? You're not saying it's definitely, you know, you must buy this. It's, you could, it, you're starting to educate them as, as to the existence of your product or service. You've got this problem, these things over here could help you. Does that make sense? Hope it does. Um, Animated videos work very well for this, just because um, they're a very good way of explaining quite complex things, co quite complex com um, kind of concepts very easily in a way that if you were to do it live action, you'd have to, it would be quite a complicated shoot, probably multiple locations, stuff like that. So, you know, animated videos are definitely worth looking at. Again, take inspiration from what other people are doing in your space. Decision stage, you are showing things, you're showing people, demonstrating. So this is when you get into more detail about the features of your product. You're showing viewers what it will look like when they purchase from you. Testimonial videos like we've talked about, definitely use those. Customer case studies, they are allowing your potential audience to build rapport with past clients that I could like that I talked about. Um, they illustrate the results of having used your product or service because it's all about your um, potential clients are in what's called a before state. And with the testimonial videos or the case studies, what you're doing is you're showing someone who used to be in the before state, and now bada, they use your product or service, they're in the after state. They, these, these customers um, testimonials can talk about how now their life is better in their new kind of after state. And the potential clients will be looking at them going, oh, I want to be them. I wonder what I need to do. 
I tell you what, I'll get in touch with Jeff and his magical plumbing supplies or whatever it is. Testimonials also offer inbuilt social proof. I'm conscious of time. I'm going to have to gloss over that. But social proof is critical. It's basically the notion, like I said before, of getting proper reviews, uh, you know, that are trustworthy. Video is an amazing way of doing that. There's been loads of issues, obviously, that we're all aware of with fake Google reviews, fake Amazon reviews. If people, if you use, um, if you use video, it, you know, it, it's it's a lot more genuine and people can see that it's not fake. Uh, right, next steps. Listen, guys, I know this has been a real canter through and I hope that you are getting value from this. Take action. That's what we need to do. You need to set goals. You need to create a video marketing strategy. Bitly link down there, business video guide down there. Connect with me on um, Enterprise Nation. Um, there are resources I've already made on my YouTube channel, but I'm very happy to take people through this uh, this whole thing. Um, I, it's it's worth investing time doing this. It takes time to do it. Do it well. You do it once, and then you can um, you're knowing you're creating video that's going to resonate. You need to understand who your audience is. Again, there are resources on the YouTube channel there. Connect with me. Very happy to walk you through that. Research before you record. So that means you know, looking for keywords, looking for topics, looking at your competitors, doing that competitor research. And like I said before, it is it is a weird sort of contradiction, I know. You've got to research and do all that good stuff. Don't over-research, don't get analysis paralysis. Start messy, someone says that I uh, look up to on YouTube. So just do it, you have to do it. Um, and don't beat yourself up. If your first video, you're not happy with it, don't worry about it, it's 1%, get 1% better every time you do it and you've got to commit to doing it on a regular basis but every if every video gets better and better and better then guess what over time you'll be you'll come to absolutely dominate your niche and you'll be an amazing person um, as a result of it so yes learn from our free youtube resource and downloadable guide i think i've plugged that quite enough let's move on to the next slide listen guys thank you so much for listening i can't believe it we're hitting 12 30 i haven't prattled on for too long I'm not going to get told off, I hope, by Emma. Um, please look at those um, business dash, growth dash with video. Really should work on that. Uh, that's the YouTube channel. Business video guide, that is a free 20-odd uh, page downloadable Bible-y type thing of all kind of all the stuff I've been mentioning. Um, just pop your email in there and we will send it to you. There's the website there. Very happy to connect on LinkedIn, equally Facebook, but obviously what I'm most happy about is connecting on Enterprise Nation, uh, mm -hmm. which is a fabulous, fabulous thing um, that we should all use more in our lives. Listen, I hope that has been useful. I hope you're not crying because there's too much to do. I hope that's helped. Um, really happy to connect with you guys. So anything, any questions, any of that good stuff, let me know. Um, I will be it's really important as well very quickly and i'll shut up Emma, i'm really sorry um but yeah what i'd love to know from your perspective as business owners i i'm all about creating content that helps you do what you can with video to make your business succeed and goodness knows we need that right now so if you've got any particular things that you're stumbling on or whatever it is just let me know and I'll create content for you, bespoke content, you know, that that speaks to that because like I say, we really need our businesses firing on all cylinders once we get out of this lockdown nonsense um, anyway. And with that, I will hand over to the amazing Emma Jones. Amazing job. <laughs> job, Jeremy. You did it dead on 12.30 and bless you. I'm you're down now. <laughs> I was going to say, I think you need to go and relax and chill out. <laughs> Sorry, but, everyone. Um, I'm just going to read out one of the comments because there's lots of lovely comments coming in now to say thank oh, you for thank that. thank you. You're too kind. Because we're always so strict on finishing at 12.30, I'm just going to read out Georgia's comment where Georgia says, thank you. This has been one of the best webinars I've watched. You can really sense your passion for your industry. So um, lots of lovely comments coming in. Jeremy Mason, huge thanks to you. Literally kind of on that screen now, you're showing 
all of your profiles. But as I mentioned at the beginning, ladies and gents, you can also connect with Jeremy on the Enterprise Nation platform. Uh, his passion will continue on that platform as well. So Jeremy, amazing. Thanks so much for joining us today. Uh, thanks everyone for tuning in and we will be back tomorrow, same time midday. And tomorrow's section is all around how to make more money from being a freelance consultant or coach. But in the meantime, enjoy the rest of your day and huge thanks again, Mr. Jeremy Mason. Thank you guys and take care of yourselves.